Thank you. Despite good things in Solvency 2, which we've already heard about, we shelved the group support regime due to concerns over its practicality in periods of economic stress, its interplay with national insolvency laws and mistrust of other countries' supervisors. Crisis examples such as Fortis Bank exposed grounds for such suspicion and the need for a European supervisory architecture and discipline. Solvency II convinced me that cross-border insolvency and near insolvency in financial institutions has to be tackled at the European level. This is challenging, but it's a serious omission from the whole concept of the single market. The Ferreira report covers many of these issues, and I thank her for including my ideas on averting moral hazard from crisis funds and a 28th regime for insolvency of cross-border banks. Now, planning is everything, and contingency plans, living wills, and resolution mechanisms will reveal a lot about the present as well as protecting the future. Thank you.